Tip number six is to know where you're up to in your rent. Know your paid to date. If you're not sure, ask your property manager for a copy of your tenancy ledger. It's really important to know how much you've got left to pay until the end of your lease and that way you'll avoid that conversation where the property manager says there's some money outstanding and you saying, oh, okay, we'll just take it from my bond. We want to get you a full bond refund, so know your paid to date. Tip number seven, don't forget to book in to get your carpet steam cleaned by a professional company. This is a requirement and you will need to hold on to your receipt and pass it on to your property manager once it's all done. If you've had pets as well, there will be an expectation that you get a flea spray done, so just keep that in mind. Tip number eight is regarding water usage. If you've been paying for water throughout your tenancy, then you will have a final water bill that you'll need to fix up. Now this exact amount can't be calculated until after you've handed back the keys and the property manager has completed their vacate inspection. So I would suggest you take an average of the last couple of bills and put some money aside just so that's not an unpleasant surprise when you think you've done everything. Okay, so you've completed those eight things in the weeks leading up to moving out. Now you've actually moved out. And tip number nine is to follow the cleaning checklist that your property manager will supply to you. There's so much to remember and the checklists are there for a reason. So definitely a great idea to follow it closely or engage a professional cleaner who'll do it all for you. And our last tip of the day, tip number 10, is to not disconnect your power until after the vacate inspection has been completed and the property manager has advised you that everything's okay. We as agents need to be able to check that the lights work, that the appliances work, and that the remotes for your air conditioner and, and garage work. So it's very important that the electricity remains on for us to be able to test those things and not have any delays in then processing your bond refund. So there we have it. Now you've heard all 10 tips for getting a full bond refund and getting a smooth vacate process. So thank you so much for watching and thank you for the question, Joe. I really hope you got something out of it and I hope everyone else did too. Uh, stay tuned for the next video in our property management question series. Thanks again.